You ready for the Tomcat? Here's the big reveal. Okay, so I got all these styrofoam bits off, and so now it's just the model. I'm gonna lift it by this part here. First time actually touching the airframe. Whoa, that's so cool. So I know some of you are probably wondering about the size. So this is compared to the E-Flight F-15 Eagle. If you guys know the Eagle, which is very popular. It is bigger. That is a single 64 millimeter, that is a twin 40 millimeter. Can't be size roughly the same. Actually, F-14 is a little bit longer. This is a little smaller in width than this, but they're pretty close. Also, one thing I will say, removable, not removable. All right, so I set the model up according to this addendum, this reference paper here. I didn't actually have to use the physical manual at all. Not something I recommend. I will definitely be checking the manual for dual rates and CG and all that stuff, but for now I was just doing the transmitter setup. It was way easier to set up this DX6E for using the variable geometry wings than I expected. However, there was a little bit of a snag that I had to work through, but it only took like two minutes to figure it out. They want you to use this switch, which I use for dual rates, and I wanted to use this switch. So what I did was I actually had to go through the port assignments and I had to change this which was on switch D to switch G. I know you want to see it. We're going to sweep the wings out here. Look at that awesome wing sweep. We're going to put them back full now. I just want to show you what happens in case you lose signal. That's right, automatically, see, I'm in system setup. Now we're gonna reacquire the signal. That is a very good attention to detail. Good job, Horizon, for putting that computer code in there.
friends, I hope you enjoyed that video. This Tomcat can do a lot more than you think. As you saw, it can take off from grass and it can even carry a run cam too and fly just fine. Guys, if you haven't picked one of these up, I definitely recommend you do so because it does fly really well, especially for a Tomcat. I will just give you one piece of advice when you sweep the wings, keep your airspeed up and don't do a hairpin turn like I did because sometimes you will lose some of the airspeed and it can drop a wing on you. All right, that's all for this video. Stay tuned, I got some really neat ones coming out in the future.